So, looked at the clock today, or the calendar. Well, some clocks have calendars. So you looked at the clock, the calendar. You looked at your watch. You looked at your smart watch, your dumb watch, and all those other things. And you said, oh, it's Tuesday. What do I always do on Tuesday? Oh, I watch Transformer Tuesday videos of the Transformer reviews on this channel. So... I know that's why you're tuned in here. And thank you guys so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Like always. I appreciate so, so much all the love and support I've been getting. We've hit 500. Thank you guys so much. I could never have gotten there without you guys. Of course. Because you are as other subscribers. Now the next milestone is to hit 1,000. And we're on our way. We're halfway there. So thank you guys again so, so much. Remember that too, because that helps out the videos. It helps out the, alg uh, um, the algorithms. So everyone knows this is a video they want to see the Transformer Tuesday with Ratchet today on this Tuesday. But please remember to subscribe. We want to hit that thousand. I want to get this channel bigger and better for everyone. I always want to keep adding to it and doing. As you see, I put up videos every week, so there's no stopping. I'm going to keep doing that. I enjoy it. It just makes me happy to do this. So thank you guys so much for helping support my happiness. So as you can see, we have Ratchet right here. We have the good old, same old Optimus Prime vinyl. We have a Jazz. I haven't had him on the channel in a while. So that is the Funko Pop Jazz figure right there. As you can see, there's the other ones in the set. And he does have that protective case on him. And of course, the whole video is about Ratchet right here from... The Transformers Seeds War for Cybertron, as you can see right there. And you can see right there the cool artwork on there. And right there. All the cool little things he can do. And of course, you know the drill. I always pull out the instructions so you guys can take a look-see at that. And like I say, if you need to check something out with a little more in-depth, like always, you can pause the video. You can pause for that cause. So there's Ratchet right there. Now, if you guys remember, the 80s Ratchet was kind of not as cool as this. It was kind of more like that, to be honest. But there you could see right there. But he was more like that. It, it wasn't... And in the cartoon, he was like he is now. So it was kind of odd. But all in all, hey, it was the originals, right? So they were cool. So let's take a look-see right here as we see everything over here, everything over here. Get that to clip in. It doesn't want to clip in there that well, so. There we go. There we go. I finally got it to clip in. He does have a little uh, cockpit there that opens up and everything. He does have the famous plastic wheels of the New Age. The ones don't roll in the back that well, but hey. I guess if we lined it up a little bit better, it probably roll better. Okay, maybe not. So, there you have it. That is what you're stuck with, unfortunately. So, as you can see right there, and of course the weapon comes off. He can do that and everything, the weapon. I think this, yeah, this come, come this part comes off as well. These two parts come off. Like you could see on the back, when he's flattened out, he can um, become like, I guess, a little fix-it little thing. Well, he's ratchet, so of course. So he can become a little fix-it type thing. So what you would do is you would uh, come over here. You would open this. Well, not that. Well, I guess so. But you would flip these down. Like so. And then, of course, let me just take a look at it so I don't get a little bit better there. Yep, that's how it goes. That's how she goes. So that would come over here. These would fold out to the sides. This would fold under, of course, because you wouldn't be able to fold them out to the sides with that.
Wait a minute. Give me one second here. I just want to double check that. Yeah, that folds over. Okay. So now I have seen, I have seen it. So you would clip right there. These bad boys would come out. Kind of gives it that old school feeling from the 80s. You kind of turn it like that and then this over here oh that's what it is this kind of comes in over in the shot the little slot right here then you have this little fix it tool like so it goes like that the cannon can come over here or over here, and you got yourself a little fix-it space station-like deal over here. Then across, let me look at that over there. So much different than the 80s. The 80s ones was just some weird, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was just some weird little tank-like thing. So this over here, this would fold down. I didn't really give much instructions on that, did I? So let me put it back. So this would fold down. This would fold up. He kind of twist over here. Like so. Of course, you're going to take the head out. You're going to fold that back and up. So it does come down. So you're just going to push it up like so. Put that out. Put this out over here. Turn this and this out. And there you go. So you have it with that. Now this will hook on to here. Actually, I think you can hook it onto the other place here. That'd be even better. So that would hook over here. He would have a little cannon over his shoulder type of deal, which is kind of cool. And then you could have the laser gun here. You could even take this off and you could hold it like a kind of like battle axe or something. Let me fix that over here so that's a little bit better. So there you have, that's what Ratchet would look like all together in his robot form. is actually pretty much the size of the Walmart special vinyl figure over there. So there you have it right there. Oh, and the articulation, of course. You have your knees. You don't have much on the feet. You do have good hips. You can't do the twist. That is one of the ones, the first ones in a long time that couldn't do the twist. What can I say? And of course, you have the shoulder movement, you have the elbow movement, and then over here on the head, you have the yes and the nose, and he can do all that fun stuff. Then you can put him in cool battle poses. Oh, you do have articulation on the hands as well. Let me just. Take that out so you can twist the hands around. It's a little stiff. Like I said, this is my son's stuff. So he hasn't played with this one as much as some of the other ones he has. So there you have it right there. And take a nice look around. Make sure we check every little aspect. This one I really, really like. Number one, it's way different than the 80s. Oh, and of course it has its battle damage over here and over there. Like I said, way better than the one in the 80s because it actually turns into what you've seen in the cartoon or the movie. So that's a much welcome change to the newer version. The other one was some kind of weird tank thing. I, I'm doing the video on my cell phone, so I can't really go on my cell phone and show you guys. But if you remember the 80s or you look up Ratchet from the 80s, you will see what he was. There was Ratchet and Hound, I think, or, or no, I forgot the other one. So Red, they were little red like toyota vans that changed into little weird tank things so they never look like a real robot so much improvement i give a thumbs up to those so like always people thank you again for all the subscriptions i appreciate it so much and like always people have a great great day